everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plan Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we are building for the African Crested Porcupine here in Small Sea Zoo, which is my sp zoo specific for smaller animals. Uh, I did think all of the habitats also should be small, but this is, I think, around 1200 square uh, meters so that's a lot to be honest that wasn't the intention but if you want to see how i built this or simply just learn a little more about the african crystal porcupine then please keep watching and let me just mention today i have a patreon where i'm working on copying all my videos over every single mod video i have made is of course free and you will not need anything not even to subscribe to watch them um however my other videos is on my only and cheapest tier which is one dollar a month uh, so if you want to support me over there that would be great and the, the link is in the description of course Today I'm gonna build a lot with the mud pillow technique. I think it's been a while since we have been working with it a lot. Uh, so we are not gonna build it with it twice. First here, the little house, and then we're gonna make a round habitat uh, afterwards to make it a part of. And that would actually be the main technique today. And then the rest of it is pretty much just foliage and trying to make it look pretty which i think most of us like our habitats to be however today we are of course talking about the crested porcupine or the north african crested porcupine or the african crested porcupine again one of these beautiful animals with a lot of names i'm probably gonna say crested porcupine or this porcupine uh, when i talk about it However, something I didn't know was that porcupines actually are rodents. They are in the ro rodentia order uh, and then in the Hystricidae family, which is the family of the old world porcupine, which is distinguished by their spiny covering from which they take their names um there is 11 of these porcupines in this family and of these 11 porcupines eight of them share the genus his sorry hystrix uh, which is the crested porcupine the indian porcupine malayan porcupine cape porcupine philippine porcupine sun sunda porcupine it, thick-spined porcupine which i believe is extinct as well as the sumatran porcupine the crested porcupine is the largest in the world and can weigh all the way up to 27 kilos being 59 60 pounds which is a heavy fellow when you uh, look at them that way again it is still a smaller animal that's why they belong here in the small sea zoo but they are big for what they are the crested porcupine have the name crested specifically because of its back which it actually can raise up not only the spikes or the quills but the back can be raised and therefore look like a Crest. Their quills are very long, all the way up to 35 centimeters, being 14 uh, inch. They are extremely sharp and solid, so they won't just bend or anything like that. They they will stay strong and it, uh, point th through something if, if needs be. This is also why they can actually defend themselves and even injure predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas and humans. The crested porcupine do also live in Africa like most, if not all, animals from this pack, but also in Europe. 
This would specifically be Algeria, Angola, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Chad, Côte de Lavore, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Bissau, Italy, Kenya, Liberia, Li- Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria, Rwanda, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Somalia, Sudan, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia, Uganda, and Egypt. And with all of these countries, they are one of the most uh, diverse animals from the Ariad pack. And I would even debate if they even are supposed to be there. For biomes, they live a lot of places. We have the forest, mountains, grassland, anthropogenic biome, rocky anim- <laughs> sorry, rocky areas, savanna and scrublands. Which is kind of frustrating since the game do not want us to give them a lot of foliage since the game sees it as a desert animal and therefore I think it's around 15% of foliage it will allow. But if they live in anthropogenic grassland, scrublands and forest areas, they must be able to live with a little more foliage than that. The crested porcupine lives in these smaller family groups, normally being a adult pair and their offspring and sometimes their offspring that is still... They are adult but still a little young and not ready to move quite out yet. Uh, and they are very social and have multiple different social interaction during the uh, time they are around their burrows and also in their burrows since they do not hibernate but spend the entire winter down in their burrows which is not just one like one hole and that's a burrow they have this tunnel systems which we also see from meerkats and other animals where they have their own little city underground where they can hide through the winter but that's again with the family locked in all winter and that's why i really do understand that uh, when it is summer and they are out and about they will actually move far away for each other each night when they eat since they are uh what did they call it they are um solitary foresters so Normally they are together, but when they are going out to find their food, they will leave each other and go up to 15 kilometers away from everyone else to be able to eat in peace, which I really, I really do understand if you are locked in with your family all winter and this is your way to get away from them i do understand it but it is a little funny that they then choose to live in the same burrow so close quarters if they want to eat alone as we talked about earlier the quills of these beautiful animals can be quite dangerous to come by however they will not just attack without reason they will use them as self-defense that being said they will use them in self-defense uh, that could also mean that they are not defending themselves but their family or their home that would also be fair defense for them um I will just mention that if you should come by one of these, you shouldn't be afraid that they will just attack if you don't know where they home are or anything like that. You should never be afraid of that because they will warn you. They will uh, first raise the quills and vibrate. And then they will uh, try to make themselves look look larger by raising their backs also and then they will go to to uh, the next action which is basically stamp their feet at the ground 
then they will vibrate the quills themselves before ever giving a round to actually thinking about attacking. Again, you do not need to fight anyone if you can just scare them away again. These do not want to fight, but they will defend themselves if needed. So just make sure if you ever come across one of these, just notice what it does, what it's saying to you. And if it say, go the fuck away, then do that and leave it alone. Uh, then you should be fairly safe. Here another good thing to notice is that they will always attack with the behind first since that's where the spines or, or the quills are strongest and thickest and shortest. So they will basically warn you and warn you and warn you then turn around and attack butt first. So again, no reason to be afraid unless you do not respect their boundaries. The Crested Porcupine is Lignivores, which is a subcategory of herbivores. Lignivores is primarily eating wood uh, adjacent things such as bark, roots, tubers, resumers, bulb, fallen fruit and cultivated crops. However, they do also supplement their uh, food sometimes with a few insects and small vertebrates that sometimes just are in the bark or in the roots and sometimes it's more on purpose. Again, they do not hibernate through the winter so they need to find things to eat where they are, which is underground. They are also known to actually gnaw on bones for bigger animals uh, to get their calcium in uh, this will also sharpen their incisors uh, and in addition to that they can also use carrion on occasion before we talk about the mating system i just need to mention the baby name of porcupine is either pup which we have heard before or porcupits or porcupitit which is just so cute so i'm gonna use that so if if you get confused that what i mean because i can probably not pronounce it right but it seems so cute so that's what we're gonna go with as already mentioned, these porcupines live in these family groups uh, with a mating pair, which of course also means that they are monogamous and form these long-lasting uh, bonds between male and female. They will normally mate from November to December and the pregnancy will last around 112 days which is a long time compared to some other rodents but at the same time they will give between one and two well-developed babies where most rodents get these small pink naked pretty much undone babies these are pretty much for the porcupines done baking already or at least functional they will be born in a special birthing chamber in the burrow system that will be lined with grass to make it nice soft and a little cozy bit to start their life in within the first week of their life their spines will start hardening and at that time also they will start their training to become independent and an adult uh, which include that's also where they will start venturing outside of the uh, burrow already. For the first two to three weeks, they will feed upon maternal milk until they include solid food in their diet. Uh, and pretty much after that, they will be able to take care of themselves. However, they aren't fully matured at that part a uh, point that won't happen before they are one to two years old so so again they will be 
able to take care of themselves, but stay around and be a part of the family, don't need to move out too fast. And then when they are mature, they will venture out and make their own borrow, get their own family. At this point, the habitat itself is nearly done. We still have some beautification around the habitat, of course, going on. But at this point, you can see that I have this little stream of water in here. I was actually afraid that they wouldn't be able to cross it. And that's why I didn't make it all the way through. But as you will see in the cinematics, the porcupines swim. And they are extremely cute when they do it. So I, I, please hang on and watch that. That's so cute. Or make sure to watch it in your own um planet zoo zoo because it's it's really cute the way they swim and it's just they look cute when they're wet and yeah i'm i just that 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 uh softened my heart the first time i saw it i was just Ay! i was actually building that because that's actually why i have one of these cuts in here today uh because i was building and i saw it and i was just like i i what 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 and i was just flabbergasted and i forgot to build anything there because i just saw this cute little porcupine swim and i didn't count on it at all um Anyway, uh, I didn't put any borrows in here because I don't feel like that's something zoos do a lot. So I rather give them a built home and then maybe they would dig a little around themselves. That would be fine, but but you would like them to stay somewhere where the staff can get to them. And they wouldn't be able to do that down in the borrow and that's the main reason why i actually often don't use them there is a few facts of life that is simply facts and one being that when you are rodent people generally don't like you and that's i'm sorry it's a fact i do like a lot of rodents personally but uh, for instance farmers are really not a big fan of rodents uh, and that also includes the crested porcupine, since they both consume a lot of the cultivated crops, uh, but also gnawing on uh, plantations, trees, and so on. They are a really big hazard, and sometimes they actually eat a part of a enclosure, letting the domesticated livestock out. So therefore, they are being not only hunted, but uh, what uh, what's it called they are getting a uh, bait a uh, poisonous bait so they will eat that and drop that i do understand why but i still think it's sad that they have to lose their life because of that they are also hunted for their meat both in europe and africa and especially in north and west africa it is considered a delicacy in Morocco, they have some unique issues since they are used in uh, traditional m uh, medicine and therefore they are being killed in large numbers uh, and either sold whole or sold in parts for, and I kid you not, the websites write it like this, medicines in quotations and witchcraft not in quotations um I i'm just gonna leave it to you uh, i'm not sure what a kind of witchcraft you can do with a porcupine um but i don't need to know i don't need to know uh, it it's it's out of my hands i'm i'm leaving it there however this clearly means that they are hunted much more vastly in Morocco than any other place. I do not know then or if they have special issues there, if they are outnumbered or anything like that, specifically in Morocco. So if anyone out there knows, please uh, comment it below and I will pin the comment uh, so everyone can see it, of course. Uh, but besides that, it does seem like the crested porcupine is thriving overall. They are at least concerned animal, according to the IUCN red list, uh, though the population size is currently unknown. 
Anyway, I think it's the first time I actually are done talking before the cinematics. So it will start in about 20 seconds and uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will... Sorry, sorry, I'm just confused. I'm not used to being done already. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I really hope you will enjoy the cinematics and as always guys, I will come back afterwards. Okay guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, down below, I have a link for everything I have talked about along with my Instagram that I'm not good at using, but I do use my Patreon, uh, which is down there. And my second channel, hopefully soon, I will be back over there also. So uh, yeah, check those links out if you want to. And as always guys, you know the drill, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!